Wow. There are many quite incredible things about Bullet Battle Evolution that it's hard to know where to begin. I think the most remarkable thing for me is, no matter what time of day I logged in, there are almost always full 4 vs 4 games available. Now according to Wikipedia, there are a lot of games out for the Nintendo Switch. In fact, I'm going to run a poll on the side of the video. Let me know how many games you think are out for the Nintendo Switch according to Wikipedia. And I'll give you the answer before the end of the video. But with all those games, people are actively choosing to play this game. So what's so wrong with it? Well let me tell you in my review of Bullet Battle Evolution on the Nintendo Switch. Now generally, I do try to be positive in my reviews and I also hate having to give out low scores. My day job is a programmer and I've also dabbled with game development. I know how hard it is to make a video game, but sometimes there is just no defending a game and unfortunately this is one of those cases. I honestly can't think of a positive thing to say about this third person squad based shooter. I guess the player model of your character looks ok when he's standing still. What aren't ok are things like the running sound effect, sounding like two packets of cheese puffs being smashed together. Or how about when you run out of ammo, there's no way at all to refill your gun. Or that a chain link fence can be an effective barrier for semi-automatic rifle fire. I mean, what? As I mentioned at the start, there are usually players ready to launch into a game, which I guess is something. So you and three other unlucky goons on your team that are playing this waddle around a distinctly last gen looking map, sounding like eight packets of Cheezos in a paper bag being stamped on by an angry toddler awkwardly doing forward rolls into what you believe is cover. But no, that low brick wall isn't cover sir, no sir, that small piece of cheese over there, that's your cover and you're now locked into it and you're safe. Eventually you and your goon squad will run into another hapless bunch of saps and a gunfight will break out in the middle of all this mess. With no gyro aiming it's very much spray and pray. You can toss your soul grenade and if you're lucky it won't bounce off a fence and kill you. You can hide if you like, but the fact that most of you will clip through solid objects and reveal your whereabouts makes it a moot point. Get too close to an enemy and your most effective weapon is a roundhouse kick to the shins. I've had matches where I've unloaded an untold number of bullets into someone who just stood there unfazed, but with one swift kick to the lower legs, they were off to meet their maker. I can't go on, I'm done. I think I was done when I figured out the scoreboard is ordered by the number of times you have been killed. I mean, come on. No, I'm done. It's an awful game. No care or thought has gone into this port from the mobile version. I mean, it still has microtransactions in it that can't be selected. It's one of the worst games I've played on the Nintendo Switch. And at $15 and £15, well, I'm sorry, they should be ashamed of themselves. This game is beyond patching. It's broken. Avoid it like the plague. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10, and that's 1 point for the player model, and 1 point because it made me laugh at how comically bad it was at most times. Ok, hope you enjoyed that review, I do hate giving out low scores, but anyway, some games just deserve it. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing, and drop me a comment below and let me know the worst game that you've played on the Nintendo Switch. But also, the answer to that poll question, according to Wikipedia, there are nearly 1700 games out on the Nintendo Switch. It's unbelievable really. And as I say, people choose to play this one. I don't know, I'm at a loss. Anyway, thanks for watching, stay switched on, and I will see you guys soon. Cheers, bye!